So today I have just a little bitty video for you. It's not quite as short, but it could probably be boiled down into short. But I want to ramble just for a little bit about some nostalgic things that I've been thinking about. So as I talked about in a recent video, I have installed Arch Linux a lot lately. I've done that because I'm an idiot and, you know, things just, you know, didn't work out the way that I wanted them to and all this stuff. I don't need to go back into it. But if you want to watch the woes of me having to deal with some of the problems that I've had over the course of the last few weeks, you can go watch that video. But the idea is that I've installed Arch Linux a lot. And one of the things that was a really big deal, even like a year ago, maybe even two years ago, right, was Arch Linux install videos. I have one uh, you know, every Linux YouTuber out there has done at least one Arch Linux install video. Like, it was one of the first things, it was my first, one of my first exposures to Luke Smith was his Arch Linux install video. I think that may be the first video of his that I've ever actually watched. So, my exposure to the Linux YouTubing community was actually through Arch Linux install videos. And now they're gone, right? There is no purpose right now of anyone doing an Arch Linux install video because it's so easy to install Arch Linux these days. All you gotta do is run Arch install and it does it for you. It's not even hard to set up a uh, an encrypted version of Butterfest on Arch Linux. It just does it for you. And that's kind of nuts, right? It's also kind of sad because I'm one of those nerds that would sit in front of my computer when I had, you know, a spare time and watch someone else install Arch Linux, even though I personally had already known how to install Arch Linux the hard way, you know, the original vanilla way, uh, you know, I would sit there and watch them because I found it, it was almost like ASMR, right? It's, it's, it's just something that was very low brow entertainment. If you, you know, don't take that, you know, offensively, but it's just, you know, it's just something that I could have on in the background and just watch and it would be fun, you know, nerdy entertainment, if you will. And that kind of stuff, at least in terms of Arch Linux installed videos, are kind of gone. Just there's no reason for it anymore because Arch install exists. So that's just one of the things that I wanted to talk about. But I mean, it doesn't mean that those kind of type of videos are gone. So like there's a lot of dis of YouTubers out there that will do Debian install videos for whatever reason, because apparently Debian's now harder to install than Arch Linux is. I don't actually know. I don't think that that's true. But there are obviously easier ways of installing Debian, but if you watch some of these YouTubers, they install Debian basically like we used to install Arch, which is very entertaining. I watched, um, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't remember this guy's name. I'll try to leave a link to it in the video description, but I watched a, a, a Linux YouTuber just the other day install Fedora. Now, that doesn't sound exciting at all, but he installed it like you would install Arch. Like he installed it completely manually from the terminal. Uh, and not just like a, an Anchorage's install or anything like that. It was 100% from partition to installing the packages through a package manager through the terminal. It was really, really cool. It took about an hour. It was, it was com it completely tickled my fancy because it's the kind of stuff that I really, really enjoy. Uh, watching someone do something that is a little bit difficult, you know, is just kind of fun. You know, watching them install something that has that idea behind it that it is challenging and there maybe you might learn something is kind of cool uh and you don't get that very often with like gen 2 videos like yeah there are gen 2 install videos out there but when it was the heyday of arch linux install videos there was one like like Armano from linux made simple uh eflinux.com he used to do a arch install video every single month uh sometimes two right he'd show you how to do ButterFS installs of Arch Linux, encrypted installs of Arch Linux, encrypted ButterFS installs of Arch Linux, you know, uh, ZFS installs of Arch Linux. It was, it was every single month how to install Arch Linux. It was the same video basically every single month, but it was entertaining for me because I'm a nerd and I like that kind of thing, right? And uh, the fact that those kind of videos just aren't really here anymore is a little bit disappointing. Now, obviously, it doesn't stop some Linux YouTubers from still making the the Arch install videos, showing people how to use Arch install and stuff. And I suppose that there's a place for that, but they're not as entertaining as they were when, you know, you had to do it the more manual way. Now, basically what this whole video boils down to is that back in my day, Arch Linux was much harder to install. And if you did it, you had a badge of honor and it was all this fantastic stuff and you could say i used arch linux by the way and it actually would mean something these days when people say i use arch linux by the way i'm like so so you know how to use arch install congratulations you know <laughs> golf clap you know it's fantastic you learned how to use a script it's just 
bully for you. It's fantastic, you know. So it's not. It's just not the same. Now it doesn't mean that it's bad or worse. I'm. I myself used Arch install three times this in the last month or so. You know to install Arch Linux. You know <laughs> it's just because it is super super easy, uh, but it does take something away from the experience and the ability to you know show that you've actually accomplished something worthwhile. It's just another Linux distribution that you can install via you know, a script or a menu or something like that. So yeah, that's it for me on this video. A little bit of a ramble. This video was absolutely completely effing pointless, by the way. If you made it this far, seriously gold star for you. I, I wouldn't have made it this far, probably. So if there's literally anybody still watching this video, uh, leave a comment in the comment section below telling me what your favorite type of Linux YouTube video is. I'd love to hear from you. You can follow me on Mastodon or Odyssey. Those links will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast. Links for LiberaPay and YouTube will be in the video description as, uh, down below. Uh, well, I completely messed up my words there. Thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Without you, the channels would not be anywhere near where it is right now. So thank you very, very much for your support. I truly do appreciate it. Seriously, guys. Mind blown every time I think about how many people support me. So thank you so much for your support. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you next time.